Hello, my name is Steve Bigelow with the Candlestick Forum. Now, the market direction is uh, producing situations where you can make some very good candlestick swing trades. Right now, as we can see, the Dow is still in this wedge formation. Ever since we saw the failure up here, it was pretty good evidence that if they're not going through, especially when they opened it lower after the doji day, that told us we were moving sideways. We wanted to have both long and short positions in the portfolio. We saw the same reversal situation up here when they gapped up in the NASDAQ. Remember the Japanese rice traders always illustrate where do most people buy? They buy exuberantly at the top. When you see that gap up in the overbought area, the first thing you want to do is start watching for selling. It was kind of confirmed on Friday when they opened lower than the previous day's open. That alone was a bad sign. They tried to take it back up, but closed back below the open. That's a good bearish signal. And then what was the next likely target? Coming back down here to the uh, T-line at least. Does that mean the uptrend's over? We don't know. But right now, you definitely don't want to be sitting full seat long. Want to have some short positions in the portfolio. So one of the best ele elements for a strong swing trade is the T-line. And when you see a price move sideways, like we see an IOVA, notice where the pop occurred, right smack dab off the T-line. Now that's relevant to us because nobody has the T-line on their charts. We use it, and that becomes a very strong indicator that if they're using the T-line and starting up, you can get ready for a swing trade. What would be the expect, expected move here? Well, if this is wave one, this is wave two, Wave three, it could bring you all the way up to the 200-day moving average. Anytime you see consolidation and they pull right back to the T-line, watch for the next trades. They will give you high probability entries that tell you if they start trading positive, there's going to be more upside. Spotify was the same type of situation. Came up, moved sideways and then bounced up off the uh, T-line, giving us more upside. So this isn't anything magical. The fact that the T-line works as a natural support level gives us, with candlestick signals and price moves, confirming at the T-line that much better prospects of knowing which direction the next move is going to be. Same thing on the downside. Whoops, no, I had one more. Look where uh, we had a bullish engulfing in Carvana. It was right here off the 50 through the T-line. Bullish engulfing, left-right combo, a high probability that the bulls are going to start taking control. We see that also in GameStop today. Moved sideways, hit the T-line, traded positive. Now you can at least figure that you're more oriented toward the positive side and if GameStop and AMC are the the uh, short squeeze candidates for Robin Hood, yeah, you start trading off your 10-minute chart if it starts moving positive. On the downside, you can see Amazon did a gap down. Now it did a doji below the T-line. If you're a swing trader uh, buying or shorting stock and or buying puts, we know that if this opens lower tomorrow, you got a berry stogie sandwich after that gap down, there's still a lot of force to the downside, making the 50-day moving average your next likely target. Nova, same thing. If this opens lower tomorrow, notice how today they brought it right back to the T-line and sold it back off, telling us if they open this one lower tomorrow after a bearish kicker signal, followed by a doji sandwich, you've got a good day, swing trade for the next couple of days, at least bringing you back down to this level, possibly all the way down to this level. Myra, evening star 
failure right here at the T line. If this opens lower tomorrow, there's your likely target. This is not rocket science. This is using that information that we know, even with the simple doji rule, that it's going to move in the direction of how they open after a doji, a bearish kicker signal failure at the 200, now can't support at the T line, a bearish doji sandwich, first target, second target. So all this information we uh, not only teach, but these type of trades are identified because we've got 150 pairs of eyes every day looking for the same type of trade setups. So join us. Again, this is the uh, horseradish marketing. Join us for two weeks free. You're going to see with the logic that's built into candlestick signals and patterns that no matter what your trading program is now, if you put candlestick charts on your uh, overlay it on your charts, you're going to see much more clearly what's going on with uh, specific recommendations. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.